Next one, sidewalls. I believe this one is probably more common for nail technicians with some experience because cuticle area, I think this one is more common for beginners while sidewalls, this problem usually happens when you already know what you're doing but still, you know, doing um, some mistakes. So when we have the product, like the cuticle area is okay, it's all clean, but along the sidewalls, oh my God, everything is lifting. Well, obviously I, I took some extreme pictures so you can just see it better. Usually it looks not like that exactly, but you know, you get the point. So the, the reasons are very similar to the cuticle, but sometimes they're a little bit different. Let's say cuticle left along the sidewalls or in the corners. And I'm going to show you that in my demo, how you need to prep the nail in the corners. Flooding sidewalls with a base coat, that's very common. Feel overdue, hyperhidrosis. When the product is not fully cured, that's also very common for the light cured products. And another one, I believe the last two, the last three are also very, very common because when you are working near the cuticle, the cuticle is on top. Okay, so you can see it. And you can see if the product is thick or thin, you can see if the product is touching the skin or not. But when we go along the sidewalls, now along the sidewalls, all of us have different kind of nails, right? Some of us have really opened nail beds, while some of them, like I do, have a really puffy sidewalls. And that's the problem, because in the corners or along the sidewalls, you cannot see everything so clearly. That's why sometimes we simply may not notice if the cuticle is still there, or if the product actually is touching the skin, or if it's just applied too close. And also on your fascia and nail biting, is, well, it may be the reason for lifting in any area, but usually it's along the sidewalls or starting from the free edge. How can I fix if I flood the cuticle and don't notice it until it's cured? That's a great question. Well, ideally you should fix it before curing, but if you didn't notice, then for this reason I have, um, I'll show you. So I have this, it's called the flame bit, the diamond bit, and Normally you use it for pushing up the cuticles, uh, but you can also use it for fixing those. So this is the flame bit, okay? And uh, you should file this sharp edge so it's, it will not be as sharp. And also it's better to use an old one, one, you know, the one that's been out there for a while. And let's say I have this area flooded. So you simply work at a very low speed, let's say 10 to 12,000 RPMs, you know, right here. And this is how you carefully file it off. Or if it's right here, you do the same. And the, the flooded part is gone. And well, obviously you need to take off the, um, the sticky layer first. The seawater cause lifting. Well, um, I mean, water overall, whether it's sea or regular water, it does not really cause lifting. Usually it's like a few factors. Um, so no, like being in the water itself will not cause it. Um, I mean, if the nails are, we have a feel overdue, if we have some additional mistake, let's say the application was a little thick on the sidewalls, then being in salt water for a long time will just add up. Okay, by, but if you did everything correct, the seawater itself, no, it's not going uh, to change. The, there is actually a one thing that seawater does, like we know um, that our nails, they have layers. So if you are swimming in the sea with a bare, like with a naked nails, with no enhancement on, then this sea crystals, like, I'm sorry, salt crystals, they get stuck between the layers of our nails and usually it gives an illusion like, wow, my nails are so strong now after I've been to the sea. But once you wash them off, usually it takes like um, a while, like maybe about a week and your nails come back to normal. So not really.